I like big books and I cannot lie. Them other readers can't deny. Hello to all of you lovely people out there. If you don't know me, I'm Octavia D. Mason, giving the best practical writing tips to the beginner writers, helping them begin and build a great novel with a strong foundation and confidence. And today I'm talking to you about Nonfiction November and giving you some great book recommendations. So let's get started. Nonfiction November was started about over five years ago by several other people including Olive from a book Olive YouTube channel and I'll link her channel below in the description box. But Nonfiction November is dedicated to helping readers pick up more nonfiction books and for them to read them throughout the month of November. And so the big goal really is for people to read more nonfiction but also to read at least one nonfiction book throughout the month of November. My phone just went off. But the goal is again to read at least one nonfiction book and to read more nonfiction to incorporate that in your reading, your reading style and your reading genre. So today I am going to give you my nonfiction recommendation for you guys to pick up or add or read throughout the month of November. So let's get to it. My nonfiction recommendation is the Hands of My Father by Myron Olberg. And this is my recommendation because I love ASL, American Sign Language. And so this book is about his life as a coda, a child of deaf adults. And so this goes through Myron's life as he grew up in a home with two deaf parents, how that um, worked out for him, what was that like for him and his younger brother who was also hearing. And so this is a great way for you to learn more about the deaf culture, more for you to learn about um, ASL, American Sign Language, and what it's like for people to live in a world where they cannot hear. And this really, this book right here, really introduced me into the beauty that nonfiction can be. And I think that's really the goal of Nonfiction November is to allow readers and to help them to understand that nonfiction is beautiful, that it can be written just as beautifully as a fiction book can. And so I think this book's, um, this book right here is, it exemplifies what nonfiction can be and the beauty of it and the, um, the elegance of nonfiction. So this is The Hands of My Father by Myron Olberg. You will love it. He also has other books, but those are mainly for children. But you can definitely tell that he is also not just a nonfiction writer, but he's also a fictional writer. So that's that's great for when it comes into this memoir. So yeah, The Hands of My Father by Myron Olberg. Olberg. Pick it up. It's great. Read it. Now we're going to switch over to my book recommendations that I have for the month of November aside from nonfiction because what I've done on my channel is start a book club for all of you who are subscribed to my channel just so that you can have a designated read to have for every month of the year. And I've started this book club on my channel because I know that there are a lot of writers out there who want to be better writers and one of the things that I teach on my YouTube channel is that if you read more, the better writer you'll be. And so this is why I want to incorporate this book club into my YouTube channel, which is why I want you all to pick up more books and read more books because again, the more you read, the better writer you'll be. So let's get to that first book that you should read. Okay, this first book, A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks, is absolutely the best. I love this book. It, it, I am not a crier. But this book, I think it the movie made me cry, which made me pick up the book. And then I was just like, oh my gosh, I read this in one day. I read this in one day, more like a night. I read it in um, high school or something like that. And I came home, I got in my bed and I just read through the whole book. I'm telling you, this is perfect for a chill November evening. Grab a cup of tea, hot chocolate, whatever is of your heart's desire when it concerns beverages. Pick it up, snuggle up, get cozy, and read a walk to remember. It is a romance, and it's about this um, these two high schoolers who, I'm not going to tell you exactly what happens, but it's about these two high schoolers who are very different on the popularity scale in their high school and in their environment. And basically their lifestyles are completely different, but you get to go through their lives and see how the two become come together and meet one another and eventually fall in love with one another. It's one of Nicholas Sparks's most well-known books aside from The Notebook. But again, A Walk to Remember, 
my roommates and I, we love this book and we love the movie. So if you, when you finish the book, you can hop onto any streaming service just about and watch the movie after you read the book. You will not be disappointed in the book, nor will you be disappointed in the movie. So yes. The second book that you should read in November is The Hobbit. Now this one is a literary classic by J.R.R. Tolkien and I chose this book again because it's a nice book to read during a chill November evening and right now it's freezing cold here so this is the perfect book to read when it's cold outside and you're warm inside your home and you can pick this up you can take an adventure with Bilbo Baggings and all that he does throughout the time that he's in and it's just a great way to come along on a hero's journey, an unexpected hero, and travel with them as they fight the villains and they fight against powers and they have to use what's on the inside of them in order to fight the bad that's on the outside. So if you're interested in a good adventure, a literary classic, something that you can read and then watch the movie, again, there's, you know, there's that little thing, book, movie, movie, book. But if you want to read the book and then watch the movie, then that's a great pair to have as well. And again, this is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So yes, read it. The third book that you should read for November is Pride and Prejudice. I have a little bit of a theme of classic books going on here because again, great for November. And simply it's great to take a look back into how books were written before we were ever born. And this book was written in 1813. So this has a great depiction of society in those days. And it follows Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy and about how judgments can, hasty judgments can be sometimes a bad thing to have. And it talks about marriage and manners and different things that go along with your character and who you are as a person. So if you're interested in society and how it was in 1813 or interested in, again, two main characters who are on two different sides of life, whether that be the way of thinking or actual lifestyle or popularity or things like that, then you'll definitely love Pride and Prejudice. And again, it's a classic. I've read it um, and with my friends and I a while ago, but it's a great book for you all to pick up, to read once and to read twice. And again, there are various ways um, for you to watch the movie. And I think there are a, is a show or, or two about this book, but you will definitely love Pride and Prejudice if you love romance, if you love society norms and how to break out of those norms and what is accepted and not accepted back in the 1813s. So, yeah. These four books are the books that I recommend that you read throughout November. The first one is that nonfiction and the other three or are literary classics and fiction books that you guys will love because it has adventure, they have romance, they have societal development and character development and you guys are going to love those. And again, the reason why I've started ODM Book Club is because as a writer I know that I need to read more, that reading more is beneficial for my expansion of my mind for the expansion and development and the building of my writing skills and I honestly wholeheartedly believe that when you read work that is in your genre of the book that you're writing and outside the genre of the book that you're writing you'll become a better writer you'll be able to see technique and styles and sentence structures that you wouldn't normally use but could possibly incorporate in your own writing those are the four books that I recommend for you to read during this month of November in the year 2020 and I will not leave you without giving you the practical writing tip for today and you probably guessed it is this right here the more you read the better writer you'll become and this is very important I cannot stress it enough so take this tip with you and then use it if you love this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to head over to my website at octavia d mason to check out the article that goes right along with this video and if you want more content just like this be sure to check out all my other videos on practical writing tips for beginner writers be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content just like this i'm octavia d mason giving the best practical writing tips to the beginner writers helping them begin and build a great novel with a strong foundation and confidence. See you in the next video. Peace.